the inside of our sketch box, we're gonna go ahead and practice the nose drawing. So everyone that's in class should have already built their sketchbook. On the top, we glued down the nose, and then on the bottom, you should have a blank page. Go ahead and draw a line down the center, then divide it into six squares. We're gonna be drawing six different noses. So if you look up on top, you have your examples. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this handout right next to it so we can reference the photo right there. So if you're drawing, let's say I'm gonna draw this nose right here. I'm just gonna put a one right there. When you're drawing a side view nose, you start off with a big circle for the tip of the nose, smaller circle for the side, in between these two goes the curve for the nostril at the side and then bring your nose up erase that then you would come back in and do your shading students in class have a shading pencil if you're at home, just use what you have. That is the side view nose. If you're drawing one that is straight ahead, so let's just say I'm gonna draw this one here. You start off with the big circle for the tip of the nose, two smaller circles on the side. Pay attention to the nostrils. It's not a full circle like that. It's small and slim. and add your shadows. Tip of the nose has a shadow. Be careful not to over smudge for those that are shading. a different one this one's a bottom view if you're looking at someone from the bottom big circle smaller circles on the side and between would be that larger nostril Erase and come back and do your shadows.
a different one for your fourth. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one right here. So the tip of the nose is higher up. your circles. Come back and put your shadows. this one for my fifth. back, apply your shadows inside of your sketchbook. Some shadows are very, very light and some of them are really dark. So pay attention to the value. Last one I'll do is this one. So this one's slightly tilted. So you have a larger circle on one side. So big circle for the tip of the nose. This one's larger, this one's smaller because you don't see all of it. Then you would come back in, add the circles. Kind of looks like a little baby nose. And add your shadows. work on your sketches, upload them once you have finished six different noses.